Good? Good. Okay, I'm uh, Travis Conley with uh, Kansas City Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. This is here's L.C. Davis. He just got done with his uh, Bellator 135, like, fight of the year candidate fight um, with Hideo Tokoro. And we're going to talk about heel hooks today. There's a lot of uh, submissions in that fight, and he went for three instances where he went for heel hooks. L.C. and I prepared a lot for the, both of those inside and outside heel hooks. So I'm going to show those instances and, and what we did to, uh, to counter those and how it was successful in the fight. The first one was in the first round. He, uh, he was in a clinch position. And uh, he was here on LC with, with double unders, and he dropped down directly to his back to start to go for the outside heel hook. So he went here, low, all the way, and he hooked this way. Now, what LC and I worked on was immediately going with the submission. So as he came over, LC spun all the way out and kicked his leg over and it went right back to their feet like right away so that first defense was perfect um he worked on just following through right away the second time it happened um was uh lc had dropped him uh in the second round he had dropped him with a punch and so he's down and lc came over into almost a half guard but he kept his leg here all right uh tokoro did so he elevated lc this way and went here. Now, when LC was up, LC was up and he, he caught his leg this way. Go ahead and stand up. LC was up and he caught his leg, so LC couldn't continue his turn. So then he fell down this way, here. And he tried to switch all the way, but he couldn't because LC was already all the way out. Um, the third instance was, uh, was a little bit different. He was going for an inverted heel hook. and It was again in the second round. But they were up. He had unders again right here. And he came to the side. And as he, as he did the leg scissors, the, the jumping leg scissors, he went here, came in. But LC didn't fall this way. LC spun the other way here. So then he went to switch it here and tried to go inverted. But his legs, his outside leg was here. And there's no leverage here. He had no torque. On the, on the actual ankle. And by that time, LC had sat up and he had been fighting the hands and he was already here past the knee. So then he was out of that one too. So in short, that's, uh, that's how it, it went down in the match, in the fight, countering the, the inside and outside heel hooks. Going to talk about inside and outside um, heel hook execution and, and defense, what makes it work, what makes it not work. Um, two types of heel hooks, there's outside, which means the leg is over, the leg is outside in, and I'm here. So um, I'm twisting Elsie's leg this way, and so it locks down, um, it, it's twisting his knee inside, so it's outside in. So here, they have to work though. You have to lock down this leg. A lot of times when it doesn't work is this leg doesn't get locked down and the guy continues to roll, okay? He continues to roll and I, and I never secure his hip or his thigh. What makes it work is if I hook this leg at all so it stops him from rolling. And then what's even better is if I can hook in this way. This is the best, cause so his hip is locked down. Even if I, just, if I just turn a little bit this way, he's in a lot of trouble here. He can't really move. And what's even better is if I can get a lock here, this way. Now he's not going anywhere. This puts, even right here without even doing the heel hook, it puts a lot of pressure on it. And then the, the finish is just right here, okay? So just like any submission, you have to secure the position for it to work. The other is outside in. So instead of turning the, from the outside of the ankle in, you're taking it from the inside and taking it out this way. So as you see the difference, it's outside is here, inside is here. This one is a lot more dangerous. This one's a lot harder to defend because if you roll, you're still in the same position. So with this one, you have to put your foot on the ground. You have to fight the hands and keep, keep him from, from securing 
the heel with his arms and his hands. So once you're here, if you get to this point here, it's already too late. Because I've got his hip locked down and it's a short travel and this one's much more devastating than the, the outside. But if I go here and then he puts, it, puts the heel down or he fights my hands and then puts his foot on the ground, now it's a fight to come up. And I cannot secure that. So a little bit of difference between the two. Um, they're both heel hooks, but they're, they're very different.